Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 12th, but whenever it resonates with you. Now, this is my second one for the day. I've decided that I'm not going to share the first one, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. What I see is that somebody is... Uh, making a very stressful decision. They're making a stressful decision. They may have been blocking their emotions or they've been trying to avoid it. They've been trying to avoid making a decision. They've been trying to avoid another person altogether. I feel like I feel like we have an individual that is pursuing somebody that doesn't want to be pursued. Um, or somebody is in a partnership. They're in a partnership with another person and they're, they're realizing that they don't want to be there or that it's not a good match. And, and, it's, and their emotions are going to be all over the place. So I feel like there's, there's emotions. The first card out was a chariot reversed. So there's, there's emotions all over the place. It's, it's, it's a very scattered energy. Somebody is, is going to be having a hard time um, moving forward or they, they are having a hard time moving forward and it's because they're not emotionally content. They're, they're lacking discipline. They're lacking, um, willpower to take the wheel or to, you know, get behind the driver's seat and make a, a painful, stressful decision. I feel as though, um, we also have an individual here that is angry. They are angry over a rejection. So I don't know who that is for. They're angry over being rejected. And they could have an emotional outburst because of a rejection. So be prepared for that. Underneath the chariot reverse, we had the three of wands upright. Let us get prepared for that emotional outburst. I don't think that... that uh, you will be prepared. You will be prepared for this person's anger, anger over being rejected. So that could certainly, there's whatever the rejection is, okay? Um, I, I see blocked emotions here or somebody that was over here getting blocked. Somebody may be getting blocked and that could cause the emotional outburst or they've been blocked. Um, I feel like there is there is some truthful communication, very factual. We had the Ace of Swords up here which is right, right next to the chariot reversed. So that was uh, very factual information. The truth, somebody being told the truth that causes this emotional discontent. Okay, somebody gets some sort of information, news, communication that is very factual. It may hurt. It's sharp. It cuts like a knife. Okay, so somebody is probably getting some sort of uh, truthful information that cuts like a knife, which causes this emotional outburst. Um, some of these emotions are going to all over the place. We have an individual that cannot master their emotions. They cannot stop themselves and they need to stop themselves. They may be told to stop. They may be told to stop. I feel like whoever we're talking about can't stop. They need attention. This is somebody who is seeking attention, grieving over a previous loss, not wanting to be alone. This person will is is going overboard because they don't want to be alone. Um, so interesting. So what do we have? Let's talk about these cards right here. Nine of Swords. So very, very stressed out. We have somebody here that is in a state of uh, worry, having a hard time sleeping, really, really having some regrets. Uh, thinking about everything, plagued, haunted, suffering. Somebody is definitely, definitely suffering. Really, really stressed out, especially at night, having a hard, hard, hard time feeling very, very alone. Like I said, this person doesn't want to be alone anymore. Maybe scared, you know, scared of the future. Maybe worried that they're going to be alone forever. And that is not going to be for everybody, but that Nine of Swords is very, very worried. Stressed out, anxious. Oh, two cards. Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups reversed. So the Ten of Cups reversed is not wanting a relationship. Not wanting a relationship. 
So we have somebody here that is very independent, very solid, very stable, knows their value, hardworking, uh, that is probably not wanting to be in a relationship. You know, this is like a dying dream for somebody else by the looks of things. Um, there could be a split. There could be leave, there could be a change in the home. This could be children leaving home. Doesn't have to be, but this is like not, this could be the end of a relationship. Okay. I think we have somebody here that is, is definitely stressed out. They're definitely stressed out. Um, giving deep thought to a relationship. Absolutely. This person is very logical, very practical, very down to earth, very grounded. Very, very abundant. So we have an abundant individual that has stability and security right here. This is, this is, uh, I mean, the Queen of Pentacles, this, she's holding on to something of value. She has value. So there is a Queen of Pentacles that is, and it could be any sign. This is somebody that knows their value, but it doesn't feel like this person wants this relationship or they don't want a relationship there could be some sort of uh trouble in the relationship i mean he's definitely giving deep thought to it you know they may be saving money or holding on to their money or or something maybe to get out of a relationship right now it's extremely stressful we do have somebody that is very stressed out with that nine of swords The lovers, unexpected choice in love. So somebody needs to make a choice. They need to make a choice. They probably have an opportunity for love. Okay, this is a golden opportunity, and this is for love. But I feel like they may, they may not, they may not. They, they're going to have to make a choice. And it's always when there's a choice, there's a choice between two options, right? There always is. You make a choice. You got to make a choice between two options. So. We have, we have somebody here that is very independent. Uh, very, very grounded. Very, very down to earth that has to make a choice. In regards to a partnership. Absolutely. And they're very stressed out over the choice that they have to make. Okay, there's there's consequences for the choices. Okay, the lovers is card of consequences. So there's some sort of consequences over making a choice. And so that's why there's so much discontent. There's so much anxiety and worry. This is a big choice. Hanged man reversed. And the fool reversed. So, <laughs> both majors. We got we got three majors right in a row. So this is somebody that's not going to change their mind. We have somebody here that's not going to change their mind with the hangman reverse. This is refusing to go in, obsessed with control. Uh, hiding something, missing an opportunity, right next to the fool, both missing an opportunity. So somebody is missing something. They're missing something. We may have somebody here that is very, very egotistical, very egotistical, naive. They're naive. Somebody is naive, unwilling to change, not going to change, foolish. We have a foolish individual who is probably not thinking clearly. They're not thinking clearly. And I don't think it's the Queen of Pentacles. I don't. I think it's somebody else. I feel like it's somebody that is uh, naive with that fool card reversed. If this is bad timing. Uh, this is, this is somebody that is headed for a fall and they're struggling. They're struggling to let go. They're struggling to let go. It could be the queen of pentacles. Somebody is struggling to let go of something that they are hanging on to. They're hanging on to it foolishly. I feel like they're hanging on to somebody that they're not happy with or the other person isn't happy with them. And I feel like there's another opportunity here that is better suited. And I think that is exactly what's going on. 
somebody is is looking for a soulmate connection they know their value they know what they want and they're unwilling to settle for something that they don't want but we have a fool here that is unwilling to or isn't is unable to see this fool is naive okay the fool in reverse is a person that is naive this naive person is uh, making a poor judgment call and it feels like they're about to fall it's about they're they're headed for a fall somebody is headed for a fall there is a relationship It's a very stressful relationship. It's a very stressful relationship. There's another opportunity. There is. With that lover's card, there's another opportunity. Somebody is probably going to be letting go. I think that's what they're going to do. I think they've been hanging on to something for, I don't know, security issues? I feel like they're going to be letting go. Because whoever they're dealing with is egotistical. I mean, there is. There's ego here. The hangman reverse is highly egotistical. This is a person that will not change. And there is a better opportunity. So, yes, we have a better opportunity. I feel like, I feel like uh, this is unprepared. Somebody is unprepared. They're unprepared for... Um, I feel like it's a relationship breakup. I'm just telling you. And I feel like what's going on is whoever that is breaking up sees that they have a better opportunity. They see it. They see it. Anyhow. This is definitely letting go. Absolutely. We have, a, we have a very worthy individual that knows their value. This person knows their value. They are not going to, they're going to hold on to their value. Okay, this person is going to hold on to what they have. They know their value. They know what they want. This person is making a conscious change to let go of a burden, to let go of something that, you know, they don't have nothing to prove. They're not going to prove anything. They're going to be dropping some baggage, dropping some weight, dropping a burden. It's letting it go. It's like, I, I, I don't need to carry this. I don't need this anymore. Making, I don't need this. Making, And this is a choice. Somebody is making a choice to let go of something that has been weighing them down. Okay? So, I, but, and we, we do have somebody here that is also probably, I mean, that's dropping weight. Okay, and it's focusing, focusing on maybe even self-love. Anyhow, I do believe there's an unexpected choice in love and I feel like there's a rejection. I feel like there's going to be a rejection because there's, there's somebody here that has a huge ego. They have a huge ego and there's no, I feel like there's no desire to be with this person. But, and I feel like there's another opportunity that is better suited. And I think that's exactly what is going on. of swords five of swords is a battle of some sort and again very very egotistical we have somebody here that is egotistical that wants to win in the end is unwilling to give up somebody may think that they that they have a soulmate it's it's not real okay this is like i feel like it's not somebody may think you know they're not in their right mind they may think oh that's my soulmate <laughs> please Five of Swords. 
this is a battle. It's a power struggle. Somebody is struggling. They're struggling to let go of somebody that, that they, I feel like they think, they think this, and I'm sorry. A lot of you don't want to hear this. But I feel like they think that this is the, that, or the other person does. You know, this other person thinks, and that's what makes it so difficult. The other person thinks that this is the one, you know. And that makes it difficult. It's about reality. This is a reality check. It really is. The Queen of Pentacles delivers a reality check. Anyhow, Five of Swords, a struggling. Somebody is really, really struggling. They're struggling with their ego. Over a partnership that is probably not compatible. It doesn't look like it's compatible. This is a need to walk away. Somebody is probably going to be walking away. This is non-negotiable. It is non-negotiable. I feel like we have somebody here that is, you know, abusive. They're abusive. They're trying to uh, well, intimidate. You know, somebody is trying to intimidate another person. It's almost like force them into falling in love with them. You can't force somebody to love you. So I feel like it is a time of giving deep thought to a relationship that is weighing you down. I do feel like it's going to be extremely emotional because release is happening with that Ten of Wands reversed. That is letting go. Making a conscious change to let go of some sort of burden. Okay? This is overwhelming. Stop fighting. Stop fighting it. Somebody is fighting it. They're fighting it. Trying to prove their value. If you have to prove your value to somebody, then they ain't the one. So I feel like, I feel like this is a, this is, this is like, uh, unfortunately it's a heartbreaking situation. Okay. It is. It's a three of swords. This is a painful separation. It is a painful loss. Somebody is going to fe be feeling the pain of separation, unfortunately, because whoever they are dealing with is not happy in the relationship and there's a better option. And that is what I see. Good luck.